Welcome to The One Reviewer, my name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. And in today's episode, I am going to be reviewing the 400 watt Bluetooth karaoke speaker. And this particular model is called the Wave Blaster. First of all, I want to thank I Am Gadgets, a tech company, actually sent me this unit to review for free. Even though they sent it to me for free, all opinions expressed in this video are my own, and in no way does that affect the video quality of this review. So thank you again, for I Am Gadgets. I Am Gadgets is also where I got the dual wireless charger for my smartphone and my watch, and the electric scooter, which is the Sunic electric scooter. And for those reviews, you can check out the cards up here. So that's from the exact same company called I Am Gadgets. In this video, I'm gonna highlight some of the features and functions of this karaoke Bluetooth speaker. I'm gonna talk about some of the hardware that's in here. I'm gonna talk about the quality, but I'm also gonna talk about the different uses of this speaker. I'm just not gonna use it just for karaoke. I'm gonna use it as a home theater projection sound uh, for indoors, also for outdoors, especially right now in the middle of pandemic. Uh, we're gonna do an outdoor theater that's socially distanced and show you how this is used in there. And I'm also gonna talk about possible uses of using this in the classroom. Um, if you are a teacher and the, and the kids are spaced two meters apart, um, you know, you're projecting your voice all the time, you're shouting out, this might be a, a neat tool for you to use uh, in the classroom so that you don't have to shout and it's a good way of amplifying your voice in the classroom. So I'm gonna do a quick demo of that as well. As you're watching the video, if you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. So this is the I Am Gadgets Wave Blaster Bluetooth Karaoke Speaker. It is six hours of playtime, uh, Bluetooth wireless pairing, and also has a microphone. So if I turn to the box here, it has LED effects on the top and on the bottom, which is kind of neat. USB reader port, a microphone, 3.5 millimeter jack, FM radio, and it's rated IPX5. So it does have four uh, tweeter drives and a subwoofer. So the speaker itself, let's take a quick look at it. So I do appreciate that it does have a handle on here, so it's easy to grab and to carry around and lift with you. If we take a closer look at the quality here, you can see the, the speaker grill. And I appreciate that the speaker grill is nice and hardy. If I push on it, it's actually, you can't actually dent the speaker, which is nice. Uh, I know the cheaper ones, if you push on it, it's a little bit mesh and you can actually dent it. But here, I'm pushing it fairly hard and it's not denting it at all. So there's four speakers that surround this unit, giving a nice 360 uh, speaker. And I also have the subwoofers at the top here as well. So in terms of LED lighting, the LED lighting's at the top and the LED lighting's at the bottom. And as you're playing music, as you're talking, the light actually moves to the rhythm or the beat or the person talking, which is kind of neat as well. So let's review the accessories that come in the box. So there's three items. The first item is a USB-A to USB-C cable. The USB-C end is what plugs into the speaker to charge it and it's DC 5 volts in. Uh, the one thing IM Gadgets does not provide is the AC adapter. So um, it doesn't come with an AC adapter for you to charge the Bluetooth speaker. So it's assuming that, um, you know, for all the different gadgets, even your phone wall charger, that you have one. So it doesn't come with one. So in this case, I have an Aki Qualcomm 2.0 fast charger, uh, which I use to charge the, the speaker. So the USB type A and plugs into the charger and then the USB-C plugs into the speaker itself. The next one is um, a 3.5 millimeter cable. So this plugs into like an MP3 player if it has a jack. In this case, I'm gonna be plugging into my laptop to show you how it works. And the next thing it provides with you is a microphone. Again, because this is a karaoke speaker, it does come with the microphone. So last item that I wanna talk about is the microphone that comes with it. As a basic on off switch, um, it says it's a dynamic mic. Um, you know, it feels pretty lightweight and um, has a quite a long cable. Uh, and this is the microphone that comes with, again, because this is supposed to be a, a karaoke Bluetooth speaker, so you can start singing into it. Then next, I'm gonna review the inputs that go into the speaker. So uh, there's this rubber cover here that says USB aux and microphone. You just kind of peel it off. So the first port you see is a USB type A port where you plug into a card reader 
you know, read the MP3s off a card reader. And from the instructions, um, it reads up to a 32 gigabyte SD card or drive. The next one is, or, or even a USB drive. The uh, next one is aux. So this is where your 3.5 millimeter cable goes in, such as this one here. And it goes, you can plug into your MP3 player or your laptop, which I'm gonna be demonstrating in a second. The TC five volts in, again, this is where the charging cable comes in. The USB type C is this part here, and this one goes into the AC adapter. And it takes five to eight hours to charge uh, the speaker. And then this is where the microphone jack plugs into. So those are the inputs um, that goes into the Bluetooth speaker. Now I'm gonna review the controls of the Bluetooth speaker. And the controls are all located at the top of the speaker itself. Um, right below the IM Gadgets logo with the nice little light bulb logo. Uh, from left to right, we have the negative and positive buttons, which acts as a volume control, um, decrease, increase, and also acts as um, channel switching for increase and decreasing through the spectrum for the FM channels. Um, the play button, if you have a USB port uh, card reader that's plugged into it, playing MP3s, you hit this play button to start it. Um, in FM mode, this actually, actually serves as the seek button where it automatically scans for different radio channels. This big huge button in the middle here is the power button. This is the Bluetooth syncing button. Uh, the M mode is helps you cycle through the different inputs. So whether it's through a uh, USB port, through Bluetooth, through the radio, or through um, using the microphone. So that's what the input is. And then the right one is the LED lights. When you turn on the unit, there are LEDs at the, at the top and at the bottom, which I'll show you in a second. So to turn it on, you just hit the middle button here. And right off the bat, uh, you see a blue LED to let you know that it's been turned on. Uh, right now it's, it's seeking for a signal here. And then the four lights at the bottom indicate the battery level. So I just finished fully charging this. So the battery level right now is up to four. The first feature I want to do is the radio function. So what you have to do is hit M, hit it once, and it automatically goes to the radio. And then again, if I hit negative, it seeks through the channel. For our province. And then if I hit the play button, it's going to seek through. So you can see, you can hear it now that it's seeking through the different channels. And then once it's done seeking through the channels, it automatically kind of has a, a memory that kind of saves it. And then you would use the negative plus button to kind of cycle through it. So when you're in the FM setting, um, to control the volume, instead of hitting the minus or plus button to in decrease or increase it, you actually have to hold it down to adjust the volume uh, on the FM setting. So for instance, right now I have it kind of set on low. For me to raise the volume, I have to hold down the plus button. Looking back, and then this will raise the volume. Uh, but if I only hold, press it down once, like this, <laughs> It changes the radio, changes to the radio station. Um, so if, again, so if you want to adjust the volume, make sure you hold down the volume button. So I'm going to decrease it now. And then now I've decreased the volume. And then I'm going to double tap the infinity button or the Bluetooth. And it lights up quickly. Uh, it's repairing your quest. I'm going to say repair. And now it is connected to my phone. What are you doing? What are you doing? Were you just in the bathroom? No. What? Okay, and then to adjust the volume, again, you just hold down the minus or plus button. So if I'm going to... Okay, raise it up now. Welcome to the Wong Reviewer. My name is Will, where I do tech and boxing, okay. tech reviews, and tech tutorials. First, um, for learning and development. Okay, so that's really quick and easy in how to set it up and pair it to your phone. So one of the uses for this karaoke speaker was to be able to use this in the classroom. So right now in Winnipeg, uh, where I currently live in, in Manitoba, Canada, 
kids in K to six are still going to school, but however, they have to be socially distanced at two meters apart. And so they're spread out in the classroom. Now my wife's a teacher and she was telling me that because the kids are all spread out, she has to raise her voice throughout the day to shout to make sure kids on the far left, far right and far back can hear her in the classroom. So it's not uncommon that she comes home and complains that her voice is hoarse. Now, having the speaker, which has four individual speakers in a 360 setup, allows the amplification of that noise to go to, um, to all areas of the classroom so kids can hear you no matter where they're sitting. And so that's another benefit of the speaker, of being able to use it in the classroom. Now, I know it's not ideal to have this microphone holding it while teaching, but you can actually get an adapter that plugs into this microphone to make it wireless. You can walk around the classroom and you have both hands to teach. Uh, I don't have the adapter, but uh, I know there are adapters out there that you can get to make this into a wireless microphone. Now, right now I'm about 15 feet away from the camera, and if I, and the speaker is right in the middle, so maybe seven and a half feet, so if I turn this off, so this is what my voice would sound like. And I'm using the microphone that's built into the camera. And you can see that you could probably hear me even less uh, right now because, um, well, because we're so far apart. But the difference is as soon, as soon as I turn on the speaker, I can talk normally and you can hear my voice a lot better. And so I, this is another use I think that this will have in a classroom setting. My friend Mike would host viewing parties for the neighborhood families and thought this was more convenient than setting up a full-blown home theater system outside in his garage. We tested this out by watching an episode of The Mandalorian outside and we were not disappointed by the sound quality coming from the speaker. It was just so much more convenient to hook this up through the aux cable or through Bluetooth and placing it among the audience. All right, thank you. So I tried the T and G speaker down at the bottom here, which is registered as about a 40 watt speaker, and it can produce a fair amount of sound, but it's really not uh, sufficient for a large group setting for around between 15 to 20 people. It's maybe good for like six to 10. Um, and it, it was okay, but it just doesn't compare to the uh, other speaker that we've just listened to, the karaoke machine. I would say that if we're looking at the sound from my Yamaha amplifier with two 150 watt speakers, their sound was a fair amount more powerful compared to the karaoke machine, but if uh, we're putting out about 300 watts compared to if this puts out around 400, it, it sounds more like maybe 200 to 250 watts is what it would sound like. I was really impressed with the karaoke machine because of its compact size and ability to be able to project its sound in a 360 angle. And we test all three settings to see how well it warms up the pouch in zero degree weather. If you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for some more content. Well, Here's the box. I open it up and I screw it down walls. to feed the cold, especially in Winnipeg, where it gets that down to minus 40 power. degrees Celsius. So it's, so it's using, so instead of the sound coming forward, now because there's the four speakers around, pouch. it's using the garage's amplifier. Yeah. Here's the strap. That goes and moving it inside a garage where it was able to bounce off of all of the walls definitely pumped out a lot more sound. Um, so it amplified it with that. If you were out in the open air putting it in between you, I could easily see 50 to possibly even 100 people being able to actually listen to it and hear from it. That concludes my review of the IM Gadgets Bluetooth Karaoke Speaker. If you're interested in purchasing the speaker, I'll leave a link in the description below to the IM Gadgets website. I'll also have a $5 off coupon in the description that you can use at checkout to give yourself a bit of a discount. So remember, this speaker is just not for karaoke singing. This speaker can also be used as a, a voice amplification, especially if you're a teacher or facilitator in a socially distanced setting. And I believe that this will help save your voice and I believe that this will be an, a great tool for you to be in the classroom. Um, also, if you're looking for like a portable speaker system to take with you camping or for a home theater setup, uh, this speaker is for you. The sound quality is very good while watching The Mandalorian. Uh, cheaper speakers, when you raise the volume up higher and higher, um, the music and the dialogue gets all muffled. You can hardly make out what's going on. 
uh, but for this speaker we actually had to raise it raised to 75% volume and even at that level the sound was crisp, it was clear, we can hear the dialogue, we can hear the sound effects and it wasn't garbled or muffled at all. And so we were pretty impressed with the quality of the speaker as well. Right now, the speaker's on sale for $150 Canadian. And I believe for that price point, you're getting your best value for your money right now if you're choosing to purchase a speaker. You're getting a great quality speaker in terms of fit and finish, uh, the materials that they use, the versatility and functionality of it, but most importantly, the sound quality of the speaker itself. All right, if you have any questions or comments about this Bluetooth speaker, please leave it down below. I would love to hear from you. All right, thank you guys for watching. And until next time.